Good day everyone, good day from Thailand and exactly from Bangkok. I am in one of the most famous areas in Bangkok which has lots of attractive landmarks and I am sure if you are visiting Thailand and you are in Bangkok, you should check and consider to visit these areas. So today's vlog will be very informative and useful. Let us start it right now. So the first thing you should know that there are lots of transportation ways in order to reach these places and visit these famous landmarks. But in today's vlog, I'm gonna show you the easiest way, the fastest way, and of course, the cheapest way. So the best way to reach these places is to take MRT, the underground train, and to come to Sanam Chai station. Sanam Chai station gives you a direct access to these places, to these famous landmarks. So keep that in mind, you have to take the MRT, the underground train. So my friends, as you saw, once you take the token, you have to follow the signs to see which way to go. So be careful, check the signs. If you are coming to Sanam Chai, always check the signs and see which way to go in order not to take the wrong direction. So the first thing that you are going to explore once you exit Sanam Chai station is Wat Po, the reclining Buddha. It's just two minute walk, but be careful. Once you go out, check out the signs in order to know which direction you are walking. Well, along the way, guys, as you can see, there are lots of taxis and tuk-tuks. So they will offer you, of course, to take you from one place to another. No worries. If you don't want to walk, then you can take the taxis or tuk-tuks, but always negotiate the price before you jump in. But if you like to walk, they are not so far from each other. As you see, here we are near Wat Po. We have just walked three minutes from Sanam Chai Station. And this is the first landmark that is so famous in this area, Wat Po, the reclining Buddha. So my friends, as you saw, that was Wat Po. It's so easy to reach. It has a direct access from Sanam Chai Station. Only two minutes walk. And now we are heading from Wat Po towards Grand Palace, the second landmark that is most famous in this area. It's so easy to reach. It's only 650 meters away from Wat Po. So you can walk. It will take around five to six minutes. And of course, don't forget, once you are visiting these places, you have to wear sunglasses, a hat, in order to protect yourself because it's so hot. In any season that you come, this area is super hot. So, as I said, now we are walking from Wat Po toward Grand Palace. It's only 650 meters and it will take between 5 to 10 minutes according how fast you walk. So, let's walk to Grand Palace. So my friend, as you saw, it's only 650 meters walk. Of course, it's so hot. And as I said, keep your hats and sunglasses because whenever you come to these places in any season, it's super hot. So here we are near Grand Palace. This is Grand Palace behind me. It has many main entrances. So no worries from wherever you enter, it will be okay. But if you are lost, ask, of course, and you will get help. As you saw from Wat Po, 
Teal Grand Palace, it's around 10 minute walking, I guess, if you walk slowly. And of course, along the way, you saw there are lots of places you can sit and enjoy some food or maybe refresh yourself. So keep that also in mind. Now let me show you a little bit around. And after that, we are heading to the third stop of today, which will be the Temple of Dawn, Wat Arun. Let's go. Well, my friends, after visiting Grand Palace, the third thing that you can access is Wat Arun, the Temple of Dawn. But here you have to cross the river to the other side. It's so easy. You just have to walk to the pier and after that, it's so cheap. You have to take the boat to the other side in order to visit Wat Arun. As you can see from here that it's so easy to walk and once you reach the pier you have to pay only three baht in order to take the boat to the opposite side so so cheap easy and fast just follow the signs and here we are we are going to take the boat to the other side and see you at water So here we are my friends, here we are at Wat Arun, that was a nice ride from one side of Chaproya river to the opposite. So let me show you a little bit around, of course you have to pay entrance fee in order to enter Wat Arun or any other temples located in the area as you saw from the pictures. Now we are going to show you a little bit around Wat Arun and after that of course to take the boat back to the opposite side of the river Chaproya river. So as you see, it's so easy to reach these famous landmarks in Bangkok. You don't have to take taxis or stuck in traffic. You just have to come to Sanam Chai Station and from there you can walk and access all these beautiful places. So as usual, as I said, our channel is to help you to make your life easy in Thailand. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. There will be other vlogs like this in order to show you how to reach other famous landmarks. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.